everyone, this is a quick video connecting Salesforce to Google Apps. Of course, Salesforce is a customer relationship management system and it's cloud-based. Google Apps is a suite of productivity and collaboration tools and it's also cloud-based. They both have some cool APIs that we can use to let them talk to each other. There will be some light coding, but you don't have to reinvent the wheel because a lot of the code will be in the description below. What you'll need is the Google account, which you can get at gmail.com, prove you're not a robot, and then sign up for a Google account. And with that account, you can sign up for a Salesforce instance. You can get that at developer.salesforce.com and get a free developer instance. And with that, we can start scripting and getting these two systems to talk together. The first step of this process is to create an app script project and install a library that will allow you to create and authorize OAuth2 tokens. The page on screen has a cool library we'll customize to work with Salesforce. So the first step is to create a new script project. So I'm at Google Sheets, go to Tools and Script Editor, and then install the library. So you go down to Resources and then Library, and then paste the, the library's ID here, select, and then typically go with the latest version and save. Before you close this though, go to File, go to Project Properties, and remember this code, the project key. We'll need this for the next step. The next step involves creating a connected app in Salesforce that your app script project will connect to. So go to Setup, Create, Apps, and then at the bottom, create a new cr connected app. So we're going to fill out the red field. So sync to docs. I see you've done this before. App scripted. And then you can add in custom logos if you'd like, but I'm going to skip that part. But the part that we really want to focus on is enable OAuth settings. So remember in the last step, I told you to keep your project key handy. So we're going to go back to the GitHub page for the App Script OAuth 2. Select this URI, paste that into callback URL, and then replace this part with my project key. And then we're going to set some scopes to the uh, connected app. We don't want to give anybody who can connect to this unfettered access. So depending on what you want to do with this app, if it's just a simple pull data in, pull data out, um, you want to just give it read-only access. But if you want to do more stuff, like if you want to upload data into your Salesforce instance, you might want to give it something like um, API or um, maybe even full access. But we're going to start with API and we're also going to give um, offline access as well. So add that and then save. And we're going to wait two to ten minutes. So we're going to use the magic of video editing and skip this part. Now that the two to ten minutes are up, we can start configuring the AppScript project. Here's my GitHub page where you can copy paste code into your project, like so. In order to configure the code, we'll need a few things. So go back to Salesforce and from Create Apps and then click the connected app you just created. We'll need the consumer key, which is this long string here, the consumer secret right here, and the scopes. So remember earlier that I selected API and refresh token um, as the scopes to my connected app, but yours may be full access or whatever you s selected when you first created the connected app. So I'm going to copy paste these three items into my project. Uh, for the consumer ID and the consumer secret, I put those in the in the script properties. So in order to do that, you go to the file, project properties, script properties, 
and here I just put them right here. The reason why I don't hard code them directly into the into the script is because if someone else had gained access to your your spreadsheet and then your project, they can see the consumer key and the consumer secret and do some pretty uh, bad things. But if you keep them within your script properties, then they'll be they won't be able to access that. Also with the with the scopes, I have them separated here with just spaces. So API refresh token and that corresponds with this API and this refresh token. Once we configured our project, we have to authorize it. I've already given our app script project authorization to connect to outside services and edit my spreadsheets. Now we need to tell Salesforce to issue an authorization token that will allow the project to act as me on my Salesforce instance. So in, in order to do that, we're going to run this script called show sidebar and this is going to open a sidebar in our spreadsheet. So right here. So click this link and this will open a new tab and I'm going to log into Salesforce. And this new this new window sh pops up and says sync to docs, which is our connected app, is requesting permission to access your basic information, et cetera, et cetera. And this is where you're going to give access to um, your project to work in s your Salesforce instance as you. So I'm going to click allow and it says success. OAuth tokens do not last forever and will eventually need to be refreshed. When we set up our connected app, we set the scope to include refresh tokens. So we have the luxury of running this function, refresh token, um, and you put that on a trigger, maybe once a day or twice a day, depending on your instance's uh, logout frequency. And given that, just refresh the token before your existing token expires and your project will always have access to Salesforce. However, if your administrator doesn't allow refresh tokens or, uh, or whatever, what you can do instead is every time you need to update any of your data using, using uh, get reports or anything else that has to do with this service, all you have to do is clear the service using the highlighted script here, and then just restart from before, show sidebar, authorize, allow, and then you're back in. Now that our project has access to our Salesforce instance, let's see what it can do. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a simple Salesforce report for opportunities. I want to put all of this data into my Google spreadsheet, which is easily done by running a quick script using the make request function that I wrote and we'll just play this well, hold on. we'll play this and just like that all the data that was in the Salesforce report is now in Google Sheets. Automatically downloading data is just one application when connecting an app script project to a Salesforce instance. The data from Salesforce can be used with any of the Google Apps services for instance, you can set up a synchronized Google Calendar with your opportunity close dates or automatically create a Google site for every new account. It's really, there's no end to what you can do. Also, depending on your access, you may upload data into Salesforce using the same service. I'll create another video of that in the future. Know that, no doubt that I may have glossed over some details, so write your questions in the comments below. If you found the video useful, tell me your success stories. Thanks for watching and happy app scripting.